So we're in the rare books room at the Natural History Museum. So this is where we keep a lot of our, our rare books, our artworks and our manuscripts, some of which have got beautiful colour and some of which do not have so much colour. So this is the original publication that Abraham Werner published in 1774, so, wow. which he described and, and tried to bring in that nomenclature and classification of colours. And so this is his colour table. So you've got here the greys, the blues, the greens. So then you fast forward to Patrick Syme, who was the, the flower painter who then published Werner's nomenclature of colour. It's then you start getting those incredible... Wow. colour charts at the back and then also what Syme did that not only did he just mention the mineral which Werner did he also then added the animal and vegetable. Amazing. So this is one of my favourite volumes in the library from 1656. I think and I can tell why. <laughs> It's called the Flora Sinensis. Michael Bohm, who was the Jesuit priest, he did get stranded in Mozambique, and that's where we think he found this hippopotamus that he's depicted in and this rather wide-eyed jungle cat. But what you can also see within this illustration is how it's been painted, i.e. not very well. So it's an engraved plate, and then the colour has been added to it, but you can see it goes over the edges. It's quite amateurish in parts. But then you look to the wonderful natural history illustrations of the Bauer brothers, this one by Franz Bauer, you've just got perfection here. You've not just got the taxonomic elements that you need in order to identify plants and species, but you've also got the colour, you've also got that scientific accuracy as well. And the interesting thing about the Bauer brothers, when you compare them to Werner, who was naming his colours, they painted by numbers. So we know that within their colour charts, they had over 200 different shades just of green. So this is a wonderful resource where researchers and scientists can come and look and appreciate the nature of, of colour within specimens. We have some butterflies here from Alfred Russell Wallace, but then within the library and especially within the artworks, we've got a, a wonderful array of how natural history has been observed and, and visualised and then committed to paper over the years.